being a black man in New York, growing up with a father that had a gun and a shield, it was just an interesting perspective. You know, I had a lot of respect for what police officers do, but a lot of disdain for some of the practices. And I thought, well, that's a really interesting way to sort of talk about the things that are really missing in the narrative. We don't often get a chance to see. Hi, I'm Ronaldo Marcus Green, and I'm the writer-director of Monsters and Men. It's a triptych which deals with three protagonists, a neighborhood hustler, a police officer, the other is a young high school athlete. And it's how a videotape of police violence affects one community, told through the eyes of these three different protagonists. Making sure that the story feels cohesive. How do we transition from one POV to another POV and still feel like I'm watching the same movie? And the idea is that we're all different, we live our individual lives, but we're actually much more alike than we think we are. As far as places to put the camera, you should put the camera where you're usually watching the scene is where the camera should actually go. And you don't often think that way. You're just, you know, I'm looking over here, like where to go? And like you're already watching it. And that's the way you see it. That's the world that you should create. And why these three people? Why Manny? Why Dennis? Why Zyrick in my story? And I'm still answering that question for myself. And I think that's part of this process. That discovery is still what excites me about making the movie. Ultimately, it's the humanity which what binds us all. We don't often look at each other until we have to. You don't notice someone until someone does something to you or to someone in your family.